Following the racial justice protests of summer of 2020, the U.S. faced a national reckoning on the policing of demonstrations. Now the U.K. also faces that challenge. The introduction of the police, crime, sentencing and courts bill into Parliament has unleashed havoc. Several nights of kill the bill protests in the city of Bristol have ensued, as well as demonstrations in the nation's capital following the police breakup of a peaceful vigil for murdered Londoner Sarah Everard. Nestled in the sweeping provisions to fight violent crime is the controversial issue, giving police the ability to curtail and curb protests if the protest causes too much disruption. In several regards, kind of nibble away at that important right to cause some inconvenience to, to others. So I think that's the danger. Critics such as Alistair Campbell, former chief spokesman for Tony Blair, fear this could curtail people's rights to protest. And I think that is dangerous. I also think that there's very little that Boris Johnson's government does without it being seriously political. And by that I mean that I don't believe that they have a mandate for this and I don't believe there's actually a need for it. Campbell argues that this is not a measure Britain would support elsewhere. I suspect if it was something that the government in Hungary brought forward or a government in a developing country in, in Africa brought forward, that you'd have British government ministers, Dominic Raab and the ilk, they'd be out there saying this is anti-democratic. And it's not an entirely partisan issue. Former Conservative Prime Minister Theresa May has also expressed doubts, while Conservative Prime Minister Boris Johnson says the tough measures will keep people safe. Even if the bill passes Parliament, it will still have to get past the courts. And if applications of this bill go beyond or interfere with and breach people's right to protest and right to peacefully assemble, then the courts will intervene. We won't know how this pans out in the UK for several weeks, but expect the controversy to continue.